as a Jewish person, I look at his face, man. Right. It's just um, like this. And so that being, you know, I'm gonna do whatever you say. <laughs> That's cool. That's fine. Um, if... I am. I know. No. No. I know. It is. It is. But like, I was wondering. If she <laughs> <turned> on... <laughs> oh my god. He just leaves. I just Here got paid. Go. I just got paid 150 dollars to leave. <laughs> just, uh, oh, do it. it. Yawning, whining, saying, oh, you called me. What do you want to talk about? Buh, buh, buh. Sunday, every single time you show up to have a conversation with another person with an IQ over 80, you yeah. act like you're tired and yeah. bored and have someplace else to be. Just at least one and a half hours would be nice. But obviously, you guys are not obligated to stay for any length of time, obviously. But, you know, um, if you guys leave after like 30 minutes, I'm not really inclined to invite you guys. That's just wait. So you're status. so you're doing this until five o'clock in the morning. That's correct. I'm guessing it's like do the panel and then you let the shitters on afterwards and they can say their piece. I guess I don't know. <laughs> I feel this format is very prime Kai esque, isn't it? And apparently, yeah, Smith. Oh, actually, this is worth watching. Apparently, because yeah, Smith was on this panel, and if you said to me. Oh, who should we get on a panel about Israel Palestine? Smith would probably be quite low down on the list because I don't see him as like a particularly, you know, what the fuck is Smith know about Israel Palestine? You already been streaming Did you like start? Hours? No, yeah, I just started streaming thirty minutes ago. Oh, okay. Yeah, get your shit hours. together. Do better. We have. Did I get DC'd? Oh, I think I got DC'd. Okay, we'll give this a bit of a watch. For we might as well. See what, see what everyone's got to say. <laughs> oh, I think Stardust might be just coming later. Um, I think, yeah, I think she might be dropping later because she is finishing up a panel. I think she let me know that. We so need I the think we just might we just need. start without her for now, um, which should be fine. So, yeah. Not, yeah. Nine's enough. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. I think she has good taste. Okay. Interesting place I mean, Stardust would probably be around where Smith is on that list, I'd say. So I don't know what oh, yeah, sure. Stardust uh, is going I mean, on. She deserved that, poor girl. Later on, uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Although there is obviously quite a lot of Indian, frivolous, you know, very vocal Indian support that I've seen on Twitter for Israel. So maybe that's part Didn't of it. Can't even be wordy <laughs> uh, Yeah. So, um, okay, cool. So we're going to start in uh, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Welcome to Food for Thought. I'm your host, Food Chops. My panels are based around what I love about Twitch politics, the combination of personalities clashing, intellectual debates, and blood sports, drawing inspiration from the old days of forum debates to the current days of discourse. All right, so today's panel is going to be about Israel and Palestine. To give a very brief history, on May 14, 1948, the Israeli Declaration of Independence was proclaimed by David Ben-Gurion, the executive head of the World Zionist Organization, soon to be the first prime minister of Israel. Following much fighting... Yeah, what is it? So you've got counterpoints up here. And then you've got Bizarro counterpoints here, who I'm assuming is like a lefty, I guess, I would imagine, to balance us out somewhat. I don't know. Factions we'll forming see. and breaking between men, uh, many Palestine-aligned and Zionist-aligned factions. It ultimately culminated eventually in the infamous 1967 Six-Day War, where Israel gained military control of the West Bank from Jordan and the Gaza Strip from Egypt. Right now, the dominant militant political force in Palestine is sure months, about while the Palestinian National Authority exercises partial control over the West Bank as a consequence of the Oslo Accords. Here's how the panel will go. We will have our first wave of panelists, these lovely fellows here. Um, it is my hope that they will stay for at least one and a half to two hours. But, you know, they are free to leave at any time if they need to or stay longer if they want to. Um, people who are in the weight room down there in the hall will be dragged in at my discretion, either after somebody leaves the panel and or at my discretion. It, yeah, like I said before, sorry. If you would like to join the weight room, you can join the Discord server found by typing exclamation Discord in my chat found at youtube.com slash at foodshops or kick.com slash foodshops. If I do not drag you in, then I have either missed you or there are simply too many people, which typically does happen, or I keep a certain number to keep the flow of conversation going. Um, but typically, I am very generous with who and how I drag people in. However, that oh generosity God. comes out of price. If I find you annoying or disrespecting me even a little bit, I can mute you or simply kick you out of the room for the rest of the night. When I am talking, nobody else must talk, okay? So if you have been quiet for a significantly extended duration of time on the panel, I might also kick you without warning just to reduce clutter on the screen. But sometimes, if I am feeling generous, I will send you a DM to speak up as a warning unfortunately due to how long the panel is i might also have very rare internet hit look just okay just make it 30 seconds make it 30 seconds okay 
please. This a 30 second intro to what the things are and then just fucking get into it. God. Jesus If I somehow Christ, suddenly man. disappear or stream crashes, the flow of the conversation must continue and you guys must keep talking. After all, there are probably multiple streams going on in there anyway. I'll probably ask a moderator of mine just to keep the dragons and drag out smooth. Um, my moderators will be Yoon, Emma Rosen, and Ratera, the only three people who are qualified to drag and drag out people. May step in at any, any moment. I've heard that Sunday was very belligerent through this, okay? I've got to be honest with you. I understand why. This is insufferable. Moment in the debate to take over moderation when I'm gone. That will be all. Okay. Thank you. We will now go over every single first waiver here and introduce them all as well as uh, their brief 30 second. Oh my God. Decisions. We will start with, uh, you know, a first timer on this panel. Counterpoints. Introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Connor. I run a YouTube channel named Counterpoints. In reference to the topic at hand, uh, I think Israeli settlement is fucked up. I think what Hamas did is more fucked up. I think that it's a slow rolling genocide that is going to result in Israel controlling Gaza. And uh, basically, we need to avoid the humanitarian crisis and as many dead bodies as possible while still basically avenging the terrorist attacks that happened within the past week. I can get into more detail, but I know we got a lot of people who are waiting. Look at me. Sunday's face, okay, man. Awesome. Fabian, Look at Sunday's Liberty, Scott, face. Go. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so um, I'm Fabian Liberty, anarcho-capitalist. Uh, you can find me on YouTube or Rumble or, you know, find my booker, wink, wink, on Twitter. Um, in terms of uh, the position, oh, God, I, I don't even know what I'm going to do in like 10 seconds of saying. Um, I, I think most people don't understand the history of the, con of, of, of the conflict. They really don't understand what's going on. Um, there's a lot of propaganda that people are eating up on both sides. Um, I hate to be a both sideser in this situation, um, but like fuck the state of israel but fuck uh hamas like 10 times more um and i guess like we'll get into more of that i mean uh, I, yeah yeah i'll just leave it at that i guess okay awesome thank you all right lauren de laguna go um as a jewish person i feel obviously a strong alignment for israel because it's the only homeland for my people it was created in the wake of the holocaust it but during its creation, look at his face, man. Right. It's just, um, it's... <laughs> and so that being said, I have look at him. Been pro Israel. He I can't help him. himself, can he? Uh, that being said, <laughs> I have been following some of, you know, Israel's leadership on Twitter and various other sites, and I'm watching some of the just lies that they're putting out, and so it's making it extremely difficult to support. Um, he spotted a Jew. Side, but I don't feel like I'm getting a very good, accurate. I don't have a fair media. There's no media I can trust, and uh, so that I can actually say that I know what is going on for real in Israel, which is why I haven't been talking about. Okay, Twitter. let's be real, right? Sunday belligerent, right? Bad, but entertainment. Smith retarded on this issue. Bad, but I bet it makes for good content. Okay, I'm telling you, it's always the way. So very similar to the very the first two people who spoke, um, I I'm feeling a very strong both sidesism right now, um, but a very strong hatred towards Hamas, obviously because I believe that they are a terrorist organization. But I have prayers and thoughts going to the Israeli people and prayers and thoughts going to the Palestinian people, especially because a lot of them are children. Sunday okay. is the heel you awesome. need. Thank Correct. You. All right, loner box, go. Uh, first of all, fuck Hamas and all the uh, white privileged soy guzzling retards who think it's a good idea to support them. Or Yo, propaganda let's go. That they're like freedom fighters, whilst they live in luxury in Doha and send their own people to die and like hide behind uh, civilian infrastructure. Um, that said, uh, God, it's like. I feel weird debating about what should happen now because it's kind of inevitable. Israel is going to launch a ground invasion into Gaza. Um, we can already tell that they are operating on maybe a bit more emotional than, emotion than sensibility, that they're using food and water as bargaining chips for hostages. They, they might very well have used white phosphorus already. Um, we don't know if they're going to manage a ground invasion. Ground invasion in somewhere like Gaza is going to be far more deadly than the airstrikes have been. Um, it could lead to them getting stuck there whilst Hezbollah comes in from the north. Uh, I don't know. I guess we'll get into it in the panel. We'll see where it goes. Awesome. Thank you, Loner Box. All right, President Sunday, go. Uh, Hezbollah, oh, sorry, Hamas is not the Palestinian people. Um, and what is taking place in Israel right now on Gaza is unequivocally an act of genocide, and everybody who carries water for it is going to be shamed in a few years. Oh, okay. Thank you. Quibbles <laughs> over coffee, go. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I think that, uh, there's sort of two different directions to this conversation. But you need to speak up. One conversation is sort of just to sort of play the blame game and try to figure out sort of how we got to the point that we're at. Um, the other question that we can sort of potentially move the conversation is right now we're at like a sort of a 10 um, in terms of like the, the level of intensity that we're at. Uh, there's a lot of ways to get from a 10 up to an 11 or even up to a 15. 
Um, there's very few ways I can think of that we can get down to like a 9.5. Um, the most obvious one is... I feel like this is always a kind of a, a, a feature of a panel is they have someone like this and not to be rude, not to, not to act like I'm some fucking big deal, okay, to be clear. But, no, you know, it's like just a random person they bring on. And it's something I've never, I've literally never seen this guy before in my entire fucking life. <laughs> he looks a bit like me, doesn't he? Eh? He does look a bit like me. He's like a mix between me and counterpoints. <laughs> but um, I don't know, man. Like, if you if you've got what this is a ten a ten guest panel, you probably don't need. People like you could probably cut a few people from this and it would still be a decent panel. What Iran and what Hamas was trying to avoid by, by having this attack happen in the first place, which is to say to get peace between Saudi Arabia and, and Israel. Um, I think that trying to get that to happen is really, really important, um, even more important now than it was a week and a half ago. Okay, awesome. Thank you, Quibbles. All right, SDL, socked on left, go. Uh, what Hamas did was terrorist and extremely stupid and is going to end up hurting the Palestinian people in an extreme degree. What Israel is doing in response to the war crimes by Hamas is war crimes on an even greater scale. It's ethnic cleansing. If we saw it in any other country, we would call it that. Israel has killed more than 2,000 people. They have injured around 10,000 people. They've destroyed 10,000 housing units. They've displaced over 1 million people. It's gotten so bad that the UN lost exact count of how many people were displaced. They forced 1.1 million people to try and leave their homes in less than 24 hours. Yeah, this is ethnic cleansing. Okay, awesome. Thank you. All right, Smef, go. Hamas is a terrorist organization. Uh, Israel is an ethno state uh, built on built on occupied land. Uh, Gaza is a concentration camp. Quibbles with Coffee once told me that uh, about atrocities that the Jews had committed during the Holocaust, and I told him that it was understandable given the context, but it's still never acceptable. There's no good guy in the Israel-Palestine conflict. Both sides believe they have a God-given right to a holy land, but rights are given by governments, not by God. The only way for them to express these rights is to forcibly seize control. They believe these. They believe they are not equals to one another. Wait, he wrote the right this out. One must come at the expense of the other. Wait, this dude wrote this fucking shit out and just reading it. Why would you bother? It's a fucking shit a panel. Just fucking wing it. This is an illusion. Nobody actually needs an ethno state to survive. Ethno states are wrong, and if your culture requires an ethno state in order for it to continue, what is the alternative? The alternative is that your culture is absorbed into the multi multicultural world that we are all, all a part of, and it will slowly uh, disappear as a distinct Thank entity. you, Smith, for your insights. If you live in America, I'm proud to say you will become an American. Okay. I myself am a third-generation Greek immigrant, but I have virtually no connection to Greek culture at all. Greek Thank culture you. is slowly but surely disappearing really, as the world becomes more <laughs> culturally enmeshed. Does this make me want to return to my homeland or create an ethno state? No, I'm proud Thank to be you, an Smith. American. Okay. I was prepared to uh, to play on the guitar and sing, uh, this land is your land, this land is my land, but with some of the <laughs> lyrics changed to be Israel or Palestine related. No way. Oh my okay, God. Okay, cool. Come on. Thank you. Uh, Come on, Seth. man. All right. Come uh, on. That, that, that Let him do it. Let him do it. Topic. Um, Let him do it. Okay. Let him do it because that'll be content. That'll be fucking hilarious. Um, all right. So uh, our first subtopic is this. Um, many pro-Palestinians uh, base their arguments um, on the right of land based on historical context. On the other side, pro-Israelians base their arguments based on the right of Zionist principles and God-given land arguments. Do you support a no-state, one-state, two-state, or three-state solution? If you're guiding the masses of the people, what would you do to minimize losses? According to the background above, who has the right to the holy lands? How might they- Wait, what's this? Wait, uh that 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 brings us to our first subtopic um but surely disappearing i've no state um apparently he, I, I can't fight apparently he played npc music during people's intros apparently he was playing npc music <laughs> he's such a little fucker isn't they it? be divided up if at all who has better reasoning discuss well, I think the question is about a hundred years out of President time. Sunday. Any of the people who either made the initial colonization effort. I'm not talking about anybody who was alive at the time that I was taking place. At this point, we're dealing with uh, a, a population that has now been there for several generations. Another population that has been systematically displaced for that length of time as well. I think. Uh, I don't know if you can even have a two-state solution at this juncture. What's your Sunday's point of view? Yeah, is that better? Uh, that 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 brings us to our first subtopic. Um, Palestine. Based on my loss, 
about any of the people <laughs> who either made the initial colonization effort. Apparently, this is the better angle. I'm told anybody who was alive at the time that that was taking place. At this point, we're dealing with. Uh, a, a population that has now been there for several generations another population has been systematically displaced for that length of time as well i think uh, i don't know if you can even have a two-state solution at this juncture principally because any two-state solution that would actually uh, arise would not be a two-state solution in fact but would be some kind of uh subject principality or, or or just sort of zone that has perhaps some level of autonomy but will fundamentally be subject to the more powerful israeli state neighboring it um it would be extremely dangerous to to give uh, to, to erect an actual sovereign state with that level of just resentment within uh, Israel's current borders. Um, and at this juncture, given that we're on the precipice of a more or less total genocide of the population of Gaza or something, at the very least approximating there too, um, I, I don't see much much hope for uh, any positive thing at this juncture. It's just lesser degrees of catastrophe. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't think... A any state solution makes any sense like the only thing i can think of what should nato do i think nato should remove any citizen well, so first of all what's yeah what's the no state solution what does that look like exactly that's basically no sense. why is bringing fucking nato into this too Citizens Crazy. that don't want to be part of the holy war, especially in in uh, in, uh, in uh, the Please clarify <laughs> the place next yeah, to Israel, the J Jared, <laughs> in, uh, because because people there are being rounded up to to fight in the war, and if they don't, then their families being killed. And I'm sure a lot of those people don't want to fight, but five years from now, once they've already been fighting, they're going to have friends that are killed, and it's going to be even more of a holy war and more people will be sucked into the hatred and, and cycle of violence. So I think that it doesn't we answer should the be question. I think, we should, I think we should be evacuating people who don't want to fight in the holy war. That, that's not the topic. This is a solution. That is the question. I, that, that is, that, that is an answer. I don't think that, uh, I don't know what agreement that Israel and Palestine can have that makes sense to me. I don't know enough about it, but one thing that I do think would help is to remove people who don't want to get involved from being sucked into a war they don't want to fight. Okay, so you're just saying what? This is the <laughs> where the fuck are we going to put them? Where are they going to go? Where the fuck are they supposed to go? That's their home. That's where they live. Their stuff is there. Their house is there. No, it's no state solution, and anyone that doesn't want to be there, just move them somewhere. Okay. What? Well, clearly, he d hey, thank you for the five bucks. Why did the community college move this intro to public speaking class to Discord? Good question. I'm not sure, but it does kind of come across like that, doesn't it? Saying that refugees should be allowed to, to leave the right. location. Yeah, back in You're Israel, saying that right? refugees should be like accepted into Europe. That refugees should be accepted into the United into States. Yeah, refugees should okay. be accepted into Israel, not... right? Because Israel respects the international right <laughs> okay, to accept no. refugees in the border, right? Jokestar plays. Thank you for the sub. Appreciate it. Um... No, I didn't reset the bars today. It's been a bit, been a bit of a slow one. I think people are more concerned with the ants, which is fair enough. That's that's money too. Angela Merkel 2.0. Like I don't like what the fuck is. This? I yeah, I don't understand this idea of you just. You move them to America. Aren't, aren't like the American um, immigration standards are very stringent as well. I know you've got the refugee stuff, but I mean, could could you really argue that that just oh they don't want to be there to fight in a holy war, even if they're not in any sort of combat at a given time, they can just be accepted into America? I mean, I think that we're the idiots for trying to take Smith's idea seriously. Let's be real. I think that if how is this answering? No, I think I think that I think that. Uh... I think Jordan, uh, currently, I, I have people in my life who have relatives. Jordan, Jordan, in Jordan. does not fucking want Palestinian Arabs. Not yeah. since Black September. No, that's not what right, I like, was saying. No, no, I don't think you're listening. I, th I think you're interested in uh, something other than listening. I, I, I think that in, I know that in Jordan, they were rounding people up to fight in, in a war. And a lot of these people don't want to fight. And if you, if you say no, I have, I have close people who are close to me who have family that has been murdered. the other the other problem with this as well is this the, you know this holy war idea um I, i'm pretty sure that one of the big problems is that you know these people feel they've got a right to live there on like a religious basis 
So like they're not just going to want to move. They're not going to want to give that up. Like if you feel you've got a right to live somewhere, then you're not going to want to just move. And you might, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, funny this is funny. The NPC because music is coming in now. Because they don't want to fight and they tried to leave. So I think if NATO wants to do something to lower the costs of the war, we should help people in Jordan escape without being forced to I think fight that, in a holy war. The, Dude, this is just a virtue signal. It doesn't answer the it's question. It's not a virtue what signal. What state solution should we do? Of. And or I just who I just told you I don't have a right state to the land. Nobody no, okay, okay, an nobody has a great okay. don't speak up. I, I already no, I already I already told you that I don't think in my opening statement, no no nobody has a fucking right to the land. Nobody has a right to the land. They need to fucking it's agree. They're all fucking human beings. True. I don't I don't oh agree. My God. That's not true. I think it is true. I think it is true. I think it is true. Of course it's not true. There are I think both, it is true. both Palestinians <laughs> and Jews have been living there continuously for literally thousands of years. Right. The idea that, right. the, that, the, that the people who have been, you know, praying at the Kotel for literally 3000 wow. plus years, the idea that the people who have been praying at the Al-Aqsa for literally 1,600 years, that they don't have a right to do that is just on its face absurd. Of course, there are rights to the land. I think so, that I mean, both. OK, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to rescind. This guy is actually. Fair enough. He's pushing back on the retardation. Thumbs up on that. I both get... parties have both parties can claim that they have a right to the land, and I don't think that one supersedes the other. So I don't. I'm not concerned That's with who has the right. Saying, saying that Hold neither on. supersedes the other is different than saying that neither one of them have an. A well, right the question to the land. that he asked me was who has a right to the land, and I think that saying so what well, you both have a right say, to it right. is a non-answer, so and that's what he, he okay. wanted no, me to stake out an extreme it's not position. A it's not a non-answer because to say that 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 Jews and Muslims look on his face right now. He knows that when when I said say, that he, he wanted me to say, stake out an extreme position, that is the fact, and so that's say, why I said say, I disagree with the say, question. Okay, I'm an and cap. It's to cool. Say that, I don't need you to take the extreme position. I got to that. say it's, that it's both chill. Jews and Muslims have a right to pray in Jerusalem, and also Christians, by the way, have a right to to pray in Jerusalem is not an extreme position. Number one, and number two, it's okay. not a, it's not something that like is. But that's is, what I like, said. Like, it, it I said. Content. I said is that, is a not, that is not that is not an extreme position. That's not the fucking. People, that doesn't matter. Okay, I agree. I fucking agree that they fucking can pray at whatever is, fucking church they want to go to. Move no, on. Not, no, because, okay. Semantics. That I don't a give a shit. Site. No, no. It, it matters. There's a particular site. Right? There are lots of Jews who literally want to, re, uh, to rebuild a, a new temple, Right, literally want to take down Al-Aqsa. There are lots of people mm -hmm. who are Muslims who literally want to stop Jews from being able to, uh, to pray at the Kotel. Right? The idea that this is not a site that matters immensely to both Jews and Muslims. Yes, it matters immensely site, to both. But both have a right oh to my it. god, it's just steal man him for fuck's sake. He was saying that the people who don't want to fight should be able to fucking lead. That's pretty much what he said. And then he said, let and the fucking shut assholes... Down, so. I, I derailed the because it just sort wasn't themselves out. An that's what yes. Said. Yes. Like, let yeah. the assholes sort themselves out. It's fine. Okay. I, maybe I interject. I, I think there are basically four main arguments here, in terms of like the first half of the question. You know, I'm gonna Just fucking like, shit on whatever has... you say. That's cool. That's fine. Um, if, what if did I tell you, man? Um, Smith is bringing I, the content. I'm to telling me you. Kind of like four main ideas or concepts. Obviously, there's subcategories of like how uh, how a group a collective or an individual has a right to land so i i, I would say that there's the yes he's argument, retarded right which often if we look but at dna evidence and things of that nature, what we will find is that the sephardic jews are the most likely to be um related to the individuals that were uh, ethnically cleansed by the romans um followed by see now it's fucking snooze fest serious by European Jews, right? So if, if you're making an ethnic kind of argument, then the, the Zionists that come through in the early 1900s are, are, li are likely, at least in that regard, slightly less um, deserving, if you will, from that, that means of pro uh, property establishment than the local Palestinian Arabs, um, but not necessarily the Palestinian Jews, right? These would, we, these genetically, if you will, um, would Do have you believe the most in reparations land. for black people. Dude, that was like one of in, the first four fucking arguments. But dude, can you can you just lay out the arguments instead yeah, of I'll describing be quick. them? I'll be, quick. I'll be quick on the third one. Right. So and then I would say the second is religious, right? I kind of dismiss with this because it's not intersubjective. Um, then there would be the British mandate, right? If we're talking about political power, because Palestinian Arabs never had political power in the region. 
um, until the British mandate, and they're never actually given any control until 95 in Oslo. And then lastly, I would say private property establishment through, um, um, through homesteading. Um, and, and I think the Zionists probably have the strongest claim on, on the homesteading, at least against the idea of to the sea. Um, and so, I mean, if we look at those four categories, I, I don't really see how you come across, unless you're making like an ethnic collectivist argument that like a, a very ethno-nationalist argument, if you will, um, that like Palestinian people have a greater right to Assyria, Palestine, um, than the Jews do. So, I, I, I'm, I'm, I am curious as to, to the people that seem to lean in that degree, um, where they're deriving that opinion from, because I think it's kind of an open and shut case that, at least in some degree, both the Jews and the Palestinian Arabs, and maybe the the dynasty in Jordan, you know, if, if depending on how you look at it, um, have a right to the land. Just, just to be clear, does just, anybody just... here think that? Just out of, out of, think, they're Sunday in. Let the man in. They all have a right to the land based no, off of ethno no, religious no. claims. The Palestinians have the better right to the land. Does anybody here think that? No, I didn't hear anybody not, say that. Be, not based on ethnicity. Yeah, uh, Seven hundred thousand Palestinians were expelled after the the forty eight war, right? So, like, they have pretty close ties to the property they. Well, lost. I, I, here, here's what I would right? say: if we're if we're talking about the Palestinians mm -hmm. yeah. as as an entity versus the Zionist project as an entity sort of trivially so, but we're not dealing with those and we're talking about what to deal with millions of, of actual people on the ground with, with families and so on and so forth. Like, we're not talking about an abstract question of which team gets to plant the flag. There are greater stakes than that. Well, I mean, if, if we're talking about two-state or three-state solution and drawing borders, right, and, and one of the groups, right, the, you know, PLO or the Palestinian Arabs have kind of have this policy of rejecting whatever is put forward and refusing to govern themselves for 86 years, I do think it somewhat matters to a certain degree, uh, you know, establishing an idea that that there is a, a right to the land upon multiple different arg forms of argumentation to both groups in and specifically in in air, uh, you know, in areas that make sense to that, right? The kind of coastal and northern regions. Um, if you're taking a more homesteading position, eighty six years. Two eighty six. So I would say it's so so eighty. Eighty six. The wait, argument wait, when it comes wait, to hold on, hold on, stop. I, I want to hear Loner Box for a moment because he has not been spoken up uh, a little bit. So I want to hear him for a little bit. So the argument fair, people make President for was gonna... the argument people make for Palestinians having a right to be there is not because of like ethnicity. It's because of uh, the fact that uh, seven million of them in the in the diaspora, just less than a hundred miles away from Israel and Palestine were kicked out of their homes from 48, 67, and so on. And then mm -hmm. their descendants, their kids and their grandkids have grown up as refugees and that refugee crisis has never been solved. And it's a question of, it's not a question of like um, innate right to the land or ethnicity or religion or anything. It's about human rights and refugees having a human right either to return or to get compensation and reparations. Uh, the second thing you said, I, no, hold on. I'm just, I don't I, know I'm if I'm not making clarify. that argument though. Yeah, right? like, I'm yeah. not making the argument that it is an ethnic argument. I'm saying, of all of the different political factions, there seem to be these kind of four arguments, right? So, like, you know, the, the, the more ethno-nationalists or, you know, civic nationalists or maybe even the Nazis, right? Like, they, they may make these ethnic arguments, as you will also see from the very, very far left. What yeah, you, maybe, but I'm just saying that. Like, that's yeah, but chill. I'm just saying I think like either. the general, like the generally, like the the steel man left wing argument of right of return is a is a human right for refugees, and people can debate over whether or not generational right of return should apply to refugees. It tends to not, but it does for Palestinians yes, because thank you the for refugee crisis was never Let's solved. Go. There's still refugees thank in you. Lebanon, uh, Jordan, etc. So that's just that's just like or the, the best steel man can give. Uh, what Jews, you also right? their refugee crisis right. was the never the Jews also wasn't solved clearly. Well, it was. They got it's just funny, but. Also, oh, the Jewish, the well, no, the Jewish Africa. exodus, wait, they have citizenship, in, yeah, they have citizenship in Israel. Yes, that refugee crisis was solved. They have citizenship in Israel. If you want to get involved, you don't have to do. do. Palestinian the refugees is, don't like, have, yeah. Yeah, so therefore, yeah. that is the, the, okay, yeah, I, I understand. So that's the why Jewish you would say question. that Mizrahi Jews don't have a right to go back to Iraq and take uh, take up land there because they're they're not refugees anymore. That's the difference. Um, when it comes to okay, the wonderful. second thing I think you said, they've been I about, did you say that the PLO or the... I am the king of the Oilers. All of you saw neurodivergent commies in the chat can bow to your capitalist superior. Come up from your mom's basement and steal a couple quid from your her purse and give it up to the chud of logic. Okay, that's wonderful. But how do I oh. make money off depressed people? I am the king of the Oilers. 
All of you saw in your Oh, it was a, it was a Twitch donor. That's why I didn't pop up. Thank you. Come up from 40, your mom's whatever it was. Thank you very much. Holy shit, that's super generous of you. It up to the chud of logic. Thank you. I, I, I concur. I agree. I absolutely agree. I cannot believe it. I can't believe it. Thank you very much for the uh, the forty dollars. Oh, unbelievable generosity. Thank you. Uh, Feta have rejected every to... peace proposal. What did, what did you say there? I think you said the Palestinians well, haven't PLO governed themselves didn't... in eighty six years. No, but before that, obviously, I, obviously, I did. I wouldn't say that the PLO or the P. Win oil, true, Arabs, right? Because like you know, they weren't in charge during the Peel Commission in thirty seven, right? Like so, obviously, like PLO isn't responsible for shit that occurred before they existed. But yeah, I would say, uh, you know, there is a there is a a a pattern of rejectionism, right? That you might you might call it of of every two state or three state solution that is brought to the leadership of Palestinians saying well, you're going to get here's your come on, man. Listen, there's no love lost between me and President Sunday. OK. But uh, how can oh shit, I've got the wrong screen up. How can you not? How can you not fucking how can you not? think he's like i don't know man <laughs> him playing the npc music is breaking the content happening right now i'm telling you it's your land here's our land we're gonna have joint control over jerusalem which is what was offered in 47 and in 37 um and and i believe again in may i can't remember if it was in the 2019 deal or not or that was like up for negotiation in the 2019 deal oh, right, but, they, but we have okay. 66 right like like it is over and over and over again rejected unless the jews you know go to the sea like fucking we, we refuse to recognize you as a nation and so it's like, oslo yeah, like, was so uh, oslo was accepted by the plo um taba mm -hmm. was yeah, accepted 95. by the plo taba 2001 accepted by the plo rejected by sharon our peace initiative was embraced by the plo rejected by sharon the roadmap to peace accepted by the plo rejected by sharon uh geneva same thing uh, and actually that had popular support on both sides so like the israeli right have absolutely had their role to play in that as well their whole goal sure. of like the whole goal of Likud has been to reject peace they've fought against it since like since they were formed in the 70s even before yeah, that yeah, when no, they were no, a terror not, sword, right yeah i'm not making the argument that israel is like a fucking angel here right like fuck nation states in general right but i mean but there isn't i wouldn't say a consistent pattern from the from all of the leadership of israel to reject all 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 uh state solutions there is from the palestinian what but no, there, no, there isn't. Like the, the early 2000s was the, the pattern of rejection was on Israel's. It's just because you said pattern of rejection on Palestine's end. I'm just saying there have been times when Palestinian leadership has been more open to a negotiated deal than Israel's yeah, side. There has. have been times where they've sat down like more recently. And, and said, Stole Stole yeah, I mean, my and, mom's well, purse. Sure. And then I've been watching we can enough also of say, like, thank you, Sophie, for the 10 English pounds. Appreciate that. David. Thank you. David, second. Right. They're like, second thank you um yeah, i advocate they, stealing your parents money would have hammered out yes if there hadn't been far-right israeli uh you know um demonstrations where palestinians were throwing rocks and then riots and then you know and then violence ensued you know what i mean like that that, that could have been completely there what i'm saying is is so yeah i mean you know obviously <laughs> this is a bit dry <laughs> we'll skip ahead some of the good bits in a minute okay i just want to see if anything happens that, it's not like a deal hasn't been put forward multiple times and there have been these cool It's Dark Souls music, not NPC music, dumb fuck. Read my last chat message. No, it's the it's the Oblivion. It's the Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion um idol idol kind of music. Or whatever it's called. What's it what I don't know what the name of it is, but it's when you're wandering around, you know, and the idea is you speak to someone and that music plays, right? Quibbles. And you know, <laughs> quibbles over coffee. Watch Sunday versus Stardust. Oh yeah, I saw that you put this in the Discord. Is this what I need to be watching? Good five minute content with context when Star joins. Okay, we'll watch it now. Sunday. Hello. Turn on your screen. Hello. Hello, give me one moment. It's not even Yeah, no problem. Showing up on my end. There we go. Okay. Wait, hold on. <laughs> Stardust. Did you did you turn on some yellow filter? What the fuck? No, this is makeup. Oh, this is makeup? What the fuck? Are you I think she's yeah, a minion. Dude. I think she's a minion. Well, I am a I minion. I know, no, no, I know it is. It is. But like I was wondering if she <laughs> turned on <laughs> the what the fuck? Why? What the fuck? Why? What? <laughs> 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 Wait. All right, all right. Okay.
Okay. What the okay. fuck is going All right. on? All right. This is madness. Sunday. Look at Sunday. Sunday. Face. Why didn't you bring your own cosplay? I, I, I thought did, I thought I we agreed. Own, I did bring my own cosplay. Come What's on. your cosplay? Well, what do you think I'm wearing right now? You think I wear this in public? Dear God. Wait, oh my god, we're all wearing like hey. really fuzzy clothing. Isn't that Thank so you. nice? Thank you. There's a $2. With Lona. Yeah, of course, I like Lona Box. We get on well. We spoke it before. And we speak, um, you know, semi-regularly uh, in DMs too. No answer? No? Okay. What? All right. what? Sorry, I was drinking water. <clears throat> okay, Bap in, in kick chat says, Did these people have no choice but to talk about politics because they're so ugly? I'll say no more on that. I'm just re reading a chat message. All right. Well, okay. Day. All right. Okay. So, uh, might as well start. So, uh, in a shell nut, um, this is food court. And uh, yeah, we'll just begin right now. I am food chops, but you can just call me cat. Um, that'll be okay as well. And I'll be your moderator for this debate. I literally came up with the name Food Court, but I wasn't even the one who came up with this name. It was abs uh, it was actually somebody from uh, this Sunday's is bizarre. What? viewer base named of Ab Cursus, um, who came up with the name from his uh, Discord server. So much appreciated um, for that name. And uh, who cares? Yeah, Get on with it. Sure. Um, other than that, okay. This this person needs to realize. No one gives a shit about any of this, okay? We're here to see we're here to see what the fuck is going on between these two. So get on with it. Um basically I think no, it's not live. both no, no. of you guys have agreed to um fifteen minutes of opening statements. Would that be correct? <laughs> what the fuck? Why do you need fifteen minutes of opening statements? Why? Why on earth could you possibly need that much fucking time? Sounds good. Sunday, is that is That's that right? That's fine by me. Okay, <laughs> and uh, uh, and I think uh, Stardust is also um, wants to use a slideshow. I think for the opening statement. Bruce would like three shots over Andrew. They muted it for like ten minutes. Oh, Jesus slideshow for the Christ, opening statement. Man. Yeah, it's a short one. It's a little weird, but okay. Okay. <laughs> it's a little right. weird, but okay. And um, so the debate is unlimited time. So if you guys go on and debate for seven hours on end, that is fine by me. And any mm. kinds of... That is absolutely bizarre. Why would you have an open-ended debate? Why you would have it... That's an, an, an insane concept. Have a debate that lasts a certain amount of time so people don't feel obligated to be there for fucking hours. And it doesn't look like someone's leaving or something. You know, have it. This is the time it's going to run. <laughs> Why do people overcomplicate things so much? It's so simple. It's so it's so straightforward to do this stuff. But people have all these weird ideas to overcomplicate it. Of super chats that go towards me or whatever the fuck um, will be read at the very end when you guys fizzle out of debate. All right. Um, but you guys can, you know, just end it, whatever. And then it'll, it'll just uh, be at the end when it fizzles out whenever I feel like it. OK, um, so basically at the end of the day, here's how my moderation style will go. OK, my participation in moderation will be minimal. OK, because I don't cuck the content. OK, um, and well, you're doing that right uh, now. What will also happen is that I will only intervene when I feel like progress isn't being made um, to the point where you guys are just talking and screaming over each other. I'll be utilizing the 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 mute a lot let's get straight into it i'll only cut in if you're talking over each other and it's not going anywhere to recenter what's going on um without any further ado let's get into the conversation done fucking 15 seconds simple i'll be utilizing the mute a lot um if you guys are literally just like like um interrupting each other to the point where i feel like um you've already you said this hats to each other you know what i mean um and uh <laughs> yes what, there's guys, the yawn please the president um, sunday yawn actually never mind no no disagreeing first how about how about this how about you guys disagree um say to me right now um who wants to go first in terms of the opening well, statement i i don't care i don't give one fuck Okay, Sunday, uh, who... I, I wave. You don't want an opening statement? At all? 
I guess just for clarity, the reason why we're talking is because Stardust tweeted, Sunday might be racist and anti-Semitic. Okay, so so how about this? For for the context of the audience, I will pull up the actual tweet, um, and uh, so so yeah, <laughs> I'll just actually pull up the actual tweet. Um, the actual tweet is this one. Yeah. Um, is this one? So this one says that uh, Stardust says Sunday it might be racist and anti-Semitic. Why would you just- Dude, just fucking- Who gives a shit about the tweets? Just get into it already. We've been waiting for fucking ages. This is mental. Also, how long does this debate even fucking last for, man? It's getting, it's getting close to the end of old, old fucking presence on the stream. Justify the actions of Hamas, uh, quote, dot, 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 when brown Palestinians demonstrate against apartheid and colonial state violence at the unappointed time. Do you think this is the only way they can demonstrate? Do you associate all Palestinians with a terrorist group? Is it okay to rape women if they're settlers? Is the only way to correct <laughs> violence more yes. violence at President Sunday? So that is the context of the tweet. All right, since Sunday yields his um, oh opening God. time. Um, You're actually gonna take is... 15 minutes, are you? I don't think it'll be 15 minutes now, but we'll see. How long are you thinking? Okay. I don't want to. I don't want to spend too long here. Please. Just like just you, my friends. Get on with me it, out, please. And I would rather go hang out with my friends and act like a minion. So it shouldn't be too long. But yeah. you did agree to this, so you know. Yeah. Okay. I mean, you kind of wanted it, so. All right. Very well. Then, uh, yeah, you may present with your presentation. I guess. Yeah. There you go. Uh, okay. I will begin the timer now. Okay. I would request. Can I request one thing? Yes. Please, please do not interrupt me because I'm giving context for the entire thing. Okay. Sure. Uh, all right. Okay. Let me introduce you all to, um, uh, just <laughs> that's a second. The, that's um, the music. to Stardust presidential, uh, f fraud report. Okay. Uh, you know, presidential fraud. All right. Uh, let me just make this a little... There we go. Alright. Um, you know what? That... Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Oh. You you close the stream. Uh <laughs> well, thanks for hosting, Food Shops. Have a good night. <laughs> Ugh, well, that sucked. Have a good night, everyone. Take care. Oh my god! <laughs> he just leaves! I mean, can you really blame him? Fuck me. What an absolute fiasco that was from start to finish. She gave it alone. Food left too. Stardust did it to a chat alone. Fucking hell, that's embarrassing, isn't it? Well, there we go, guys. That was worth it, wasn't it? Rest Sunday Giga Chat. <laughs> God, listen, like I say, things aren't quite what they used to be between me and Sunday. But uh, he does make me laugh with his antics, i got to say. Coffee here, right? Um, that, you know, that there unnecessary is. to the point where, yeah, accept the fucking deal and fight for more rights later. But why the fuck haven't we set up a two-state solution in this period of time? And it's not because, oh, well, Israel won't let it happen. So what are except you saying that, that, except that there are like three or four deals where that has been the case, but yeah, it's hard so, so uh, well, are you saying that to say that, that like Palestine is the worst of them and they should lose in whatever deal is now made? Not Palestine. Or, like, what, what is would, your position? Hamas, I'm not a consequentialist. Not so, like I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that like, what one is, is your position other, though? Right? What, what is your, what, what is your position? In regards it's the, to it's what? It's the private prop. hold on. It's the private property homesteading. We know that that's going to be the answer. Well, hey, wait, 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 wait a use sec. the land, if you develop wait, wait, the land, you have ownership. Wait, 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 wait a sec. Hang, hang on, though. Uh, Fabian, are, are you seriously contending that the, the Zionist project involved homesteading and not mass purchasing of appropriated, essentially peasant communally used land that they were then expelled from? I, yeah, I would say different. that it's a ton of homesteading, yeah. 
That's not even well, controversial. No, that's that's yeah, a, that's incredibly it's, that's incredibly controversial. The reason yeah, why there were organizations. Like a, if you're like a no, no, no. Left, stop, like, stop, stop, stop. Are you going to interrupt me, just, Home Food Shops, every single time I speak? Wait, wait, wait. No, no. It seems like Lauren okay. wants to speak up for for. But I was now. in the middle of uh, saying something, and then you just oh, listened yeah, twice now. Look, 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 look. All three of you guys were talking. All three of you guys were talking. No, I was talking actually. Okay, uh, yeah, so all three of you guys were interrupting each other at the same time, but after Lauren gives her piece, then present Sunday you can talk. Is that okay? But, but why? I was I, I haven't even had a single back and forth yet. Oh my god, man. Okay, fine. fine. How, how about this? Present Sunday, you can go first, and then Lauren De Laguna can go next. How about I go right? first, he can respond, and then Lauren. I mean, I'm sure you could all see what the problem is here, right? There's too many guests. Why, why do you need fucking nine people? I mean, I don't know what this person is here, but... You know, you do not need this many fucking people. You need six people, maybe eight at an absolute push. If you have like a couple of people that, you know, are going to be a bit quieter, but you want them there for the numbers or something like that. Right. But this many people is not doable. And you've got quite a few kind of, you know, at least a few people that are going to say their piece quite fucking inadequately. So stupid, man. Um, I, I don't know why, why. I mean, SDL was out of action for a long time. That racism controversy hit him real fucking hard. But yeah, I guess he's back doing panels and stuff now. Um, yeah. I can go. Okay, okay, fine. Then you can okay. go first, and then Fabian can go next, and then Lauren <laughs> David Luna can go next, okay? Go. Okay, go. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the reason why organizations like the... Uh, uh, oh, shoot, what was the actual name of it called? The, the Jewish... Uh, Palestinian Colonization Association or whatever. The reason why these these organizations were buying large portions of land is is precisely because that's that's where the land was. It wasn't Terra Nova. Who were they buying it from? They were buying it from wealthy Palestinians who, in the wake of Ottoman land reforms, had appropriated large swaths of land and then sold it from under the peasants' feet. So 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 interestingly enough, right? Like, is there was there not a large movement of people to take swamp land that was unarable and unused and required massive amounts of labor to then turn that land into productive farmland during the it was both it was, was, that, so it was they, both. They, so they, there was homesteading and there was also where they bought land but that right, land but his contention is that by... there is no home is there any other good bits in this anyway i mean i don't know man this is a bit a bit dry there's been some funny moments but what else is there i'm a guest sunday leaving but is there anything i need to see before that Yeah, this this person is you know needs to needs to reduce the numbers. Um, I mean, yeah, I think Keyboard Kick has got like a lot of people at the start, but they will kick people off as the show goes on. Obviously, hence the name. Um, you you cannot have a panel with this many people without it being a total shit show. Like for as as they're saying, it's going to be hours and hours long. It's stupid. How what was Sunday's what was Sunday's unceremonious exit like? I guess we could see that, couldn't we? Let's get back. Let's just watch the last like, five minutes or so. Um, you know, the, the status quo is awful. Uh, and there are lots of ways, you know, I was saying at the beginning of this, there are a lot of ways that I can think of we're at a 10 to get to a 15. And there are very few ways that I can. There's He's no way. Music the scale again, makes though. no so sense. <laughs> okay. We're at. It's really Make it a one to ten okay? scale. If we, you're we get the point. Scale. Just please move on. The point is, it's really <laughs> shitty. We can get it to be even more shitty. It's 15, very difficult to make it de-shitted, but we can make it from shit really shitty to be like very shitty, right? And so the point is I'll that five out of right seven. now, um, the really shitty situation that we're in is less shitty than what Jews have gone through anywhere else in the rest of the Middle East. That's my point, yeah. right? And okay, so wait, if we're wait, talking about, and, if, we're, if that's the context. Wait, what? Quibbles, if, quibbles, for the love so, of and, God, condense your paragraphs to 10 words. Okay, I will. Okay, okay, saying please. a lot of nothing. Give me a moment to saying. cleanse. Quibbles, quibbles, condense. quibbles, quibbles, quibbles. I'm cleansing to condense. Do, do you okay. see how I said 10 quibbles when I could have just said one quibble? <laughs> I'm sorry. This host is really nothing, aren't they? No wonder they've been fucking badgering me in my fucking DMs about this shit. Jesus Christ, they're insufferable. Oh, is this the thing they said to me about? You mentioned this this debate on the Crucible, right? Like, I think they mentioned that to me. Yes. All right, thank you. Okay. All right, all right. How, how about this? Let's move I on to the second question. Let's move on to the second question, okay? How about that? But I, I, finished, I, Wait, I was going to answer that. Yeah, let him I, go if you don't mind. The answer is... The answer is that I think that um, the status quo is horrible. 
but this, the, the idea of Hamas being in control is obviously on its face considerably worse. Okay, yes. look, okay well, sure. that, that is for sure. But because they would be obviously from how they're engaging now, they'd be like way more tyrannical. But I think that the reason that it is like, like you said, like if you imagine, uh, like, like, can we can we just be real, right? I think unless you're particularly funny, unless you're particularly engaging, I think if you're like a, a sort of lollygagger, if you're an Israel Palestine lollygagger that has just come along and has only just found out about this conflict, as Smith clearly has, because Smith has never fucking looked at Israel-Palestine before. This is all popping off and all of a sudden he's looking at it, right? Um, like, well, you shouldn't be on a panel about it because what's the fucking point? Like, you don't know more than the fucking layman about it. Like, you might as well get on someone that's either, you know... I mean, mind you, though, to be fair, I mean, Smith did bring the content at first, but he's been a bit dry here. Um, hmm... I don't know. I just, I just feel like it's so pointless to 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 bring on people who. No, not lot. Oh, fuck's sake, not lolly gagger is in lolly. You fucking freaks, lolly gagger is in like just coming along and having a little look. Look. It's l. Uh, it's l o l l y gagger. Oh. Oh, okay. I'm using it wrong. I thought it meant like someone that just has a little look at what's going on. It actually means something else. It means a lazy person, a slacker, a ne'er do well. Okay. Fuck, I've been using that wrong my whole life. Well, now I know. Rubbernecker. Yes. I was thinking of Rubbernecker. You got it. But it def whatever the definition is, okay doesn't mean lolly as in a lolly, okay? If Israel could do whatever they want, like Connor said, uh, I, I, I agree that they would probably just take over the whole thing. And obviously Hamas would do that too. It's more obvious, because... like you said, that, that Hamas would, would, would just do whatever they want. But I think it's by design that Israel is doing everything smart. They're doing everything diplomatically. The is they're, Israel... they're not going to give the impression because they, 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 they're yeah. smarter. It's a nation state plans their The point action. is that Israel I, can... I, for that the point is that... They've been... They've been the point is that explicitly... Israel... Go ahead. Israel can do whatever it wants right now. It hey, isn't Israel. doing whatever it wants. Banana. Right? Um, and we're assuming that it wants to do these other things. But because, right, because it's actually able to be pressured by an international force. Whereas something like the... Okay, I've went, I went, I, we're getting Tell too you, much context. Last people then. I want to see something um, leave. I think we all know they wouldn't, right? We're not in the same. Okay. I'm condensing. Adventure we're not in the same situation talking. today as we were in '67 or '48. Sure, That's but you just, you just pointed to those. You just pointed to those examples to prove how bad it is. Like you, you in just, relationship you, to I, Israel. I don't think that Israel's in the same situation. I absolutely think Afghanistan is in the same situation. Do everyone yeah. do everyone a favor and like go to the bathroom, grab some beard trimmers, clean up, and come back after you're a little calmer. All right. I thought well, his sir, beard looked look alright. It's there. fine. It's all. Yeah. I was gonna do the second half of the question. Telling you to chill the fuck out. I'm chill. Complete gonna dog do, shit oh, so panel. Gonna not gonna that lie, that Jesus. With Gaza, um, if with the West Bank, uh, we know they don't have any intention to allow this to become a state. That's why they keep expanding settlements. So why do you think that if they could, they would just get all the Palestinians out of Gaza and annex it? No. What else is their plan? The answer is yes. Yeah, okay. No, the answer is not entirely yes, because I think that they've also made an effort to try to give Gaza back to Egypt. <laughs> repeatedly, Egypt has said. I am. No, I'm not going to do a fucking Oster panel. Absolutely not. No way am I going to host a fucking panel. It's too much effort for, like, no reward, unfortunately. Fuck that. No, too. And right, the West so Bank? President, President, President Sunday, go. I want to hear what you have the to say. The answer is not right clearly yes. He's got a thought right now. <sighs> no, I just. Okay. Oh. Oh. I just Here got paid. Go. I just is got paid one hundred and fifty dollars to leave. <laughs> just, uh, oh, no, he didn't. He got paid twenty dollars. No, I got paid one hundred. Let's go. Let's go. Sold of this panel. That's all it says. And then. Yeah, yeah, oh. but that's after a forty-nine one. And da, da, da. I've got a really cool. I've got a really cool system on my stream. I've got to call a call of theory meter. So if I hit a hundred dollars American, then I got to go to theory. Is what it is. I was He's hoping. A true leftist. 
I was hoping I was hoping I could square the circle and I could stay here, but alas. I think you're just being a little puss. Oh. Uh, gee, I wonder who just joined recently. Hmm. I actually paid myself. I'm running from Stardust in particular. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Oh, I see. Awesome. So that's the context of like the thing is like Stardust is acting like she wrecked Sunday, but in reality he left because it was obviously going to be an absolute shit of debate. Yep. <laughs> Got it. Okay. Oh, thank. Wait, where do I thought Connor chimped out? Did so I miss I was it? Say, now that we knew that with Gaza. Um, when it... did that happen? Well, I've missed it. That's the only bit I wanted to fucking watch. <laughs> What's the? T has anyone got a time stamp? After he's a true hoping, leftist. I was hoping I was hoping I could square the circle and I could stay here, but alas. We got it. We got it. I think you're just being a little, little puss. Oh. I wonder who just joined recently. Hmm. I actually paid myself. I'm running from Stardust in particular. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Stardust, okay. what are your thoughts? Okay. Nope. My thoughts. I, I actually came in the middle hold of uh, the this up. conversation. No, hold the fuck on, Stardust. Fuck that. Fucking Sunday what? is a fucking uh, pussy. Oh God my God, God. God. No, 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 no. SDL, fuck this. I've seen half a dozen Sunday dramas, and every single Let's one of go. them is him acting fucking better than every single person that he's fucking talking to, yawning, yeah. whining, ah. saying, oh, you called me. What do you want to talk about? Buh, buh, buh. And within fucking eight minutes, he leaves. I get that it's a fucking meme at this yeah. point, but it's actually like, why the fuck would is this guy invited to fucking anything no, he, if he doesn't I, contribute I shit? Think... So Sunday, I don't know you yeah. talk shit Look. on Twitter and you're a huge pussy in person. Go I fuck exactly yourself. I agree with you. Counterpoints, counterpoints, let, let, I yo, agree with you. Hey. Pussy. But wait, let me, let me, let me, let me just get in here real quick. No, pussy. No, no, yes. no, real quick. I agree with you. Real quick, real let quick. me get in. Let me get well, in. I don't think you understand unless you've been Sundayed, okay? I genuinely don't think you understand. I, I kind of watch it happen elsewhere and I'm just like, oh, yeah, there it is. You've been Sundayed. There it is. <laughs> you've been Sundayed. It's fucking annoying, isn't it? I don't think you get it unless you've been Sundayed, unless you've been through it. He is a very infuriating person. I mean, I just laugh at it now because it's funny. It's funny watching it happen to other people. <laughs> but I haven't been Sundayed in the past yet. It's very annoying. But uh, also, wait, there's more. Okay, you guys. Are... There's another point where he says he's 80 IQ. There's a point where Counterpoint says anyone that's above 80 IQ you know, you act like this, and Sunday just goes, like, you're above 80? <laughs> Something like that. Where is that? Where is that bit? Now, I'm watching that, and then I'm out. And that's my that's the exit. We fucked this up. I fucked this up, okay? I'm watching that, and then we're done with this. Oh, yeah, yeah. Can I just check the transcript? Oh, no, there is no transcript. I can see. Oh, hang on. Here we go. I have that conversation. In, in, instead of telling you what I think should happen, can I just tell you what I think is going to happen? Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that, that like okay. the third topic? Again. Or fuck it, whatever. Yeah. So, I'm so still what listening. I think is going is to Israel happen. Is Israel going to annex Gaza? Is... Yeah. Okay, cool. So, Thanks. Let's move on. You're welcome. So Israel is going to do a ground invasion of Gaza. They're probably, if international pressure is strong enough, they're not going to be able to demographically expel every single Gazan Palestinian. <laughs> they're going to militarily occupy for the next 30 years. They're oh, going to force no. their sympathetic government oh, onto no. it. And then uh, the only thing that's going to be possible is some kind of negotiated settlement in the West Bank. <laughs> Look what that's it. Doing. Come on, man. Come on! You done that's throwing a pity party, President Sunday? <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just absorbing. Cowboy, just get about Sunday again. Well, it's over. earlier. <laughs> no. yeah. so it's it's so obnoxious, man. Want to have different it conversations. It's so obnoxious. Well, it's. I think it's because we shifted from the moral conversation. I think about like. Uh, right. Did decide uh, were they the bad negotiator? Uh, does that mean they deserve a little ethnic cleansing? From to like what's yeah. going to happen? Which is when did anyone say they deserve ethnic cleansing? What are you talking? That's about? not he, he's he's going he's going no to an extreme. He's going to an extreme. But but, but the, the general gist no, he's is not going when to we're arguing. No, he's look, let me let me just say something and then tell me when I'm wrong. Like so, I, I think that the jet, that feeling I'm getting is when we're arguing about who is more reasonable, who is like bad, more bringing more there's to the more. table. There's more. There's more. I know there's more coming. It's like we're saying. Carol Poise is not happy. Like. 
like to, who who's more who deserves to be listened to more who is more worthy of of us of our support but like i think in the end of the day like we can't look back we can only look to the future and that's why like i'm more interested in saying what what can they do what can we what should we focus on what should we support thank you, you know? for the answer so, yeah, the, the answer to that is quite simple we yeah what's up so if Israel didn't have pressure from the international community, do you think that they would expel every single Gazan into Egypt? Thank you, Isu. Appreciate you. Uh, no. I think if realistically, this is this is going to sound awful, but realistically, if they wanted to do that, they could get away with it um, on the international stage. Now, would it be I... difficult for them for the next four years? Absolutely. But would they be able to move forward? Yes. The My truth is years. that America needs them. Um, four to ten, whatever it is. I'm not I'm making up four. Um, the, the reality is that that at the end of the day, um, I don't think that the international community actually cares about the Palestinians at all. Um, I think that the the truth is okay. that Saudi Arabia cares I, a little bit, Chernobyl, Iran thank you. cares a little little bit, but uh, I I don't think that they care enough that they're going to stop. Uh, ultimately working I, towards uh, a negotiation and relationship with Israel. I think it's going to be really hard for the United States and Israel to claim some kind of moral legitimacy if they effectively participate in an ethnocide. <laughs> <laughs> That's different than a question of whether or not Israel could get away with it. It would be difficult for once Israel got away Come with it. Come on, man! It would take, Come like, on now! In order for their, their Come hands on to now. be seen as clean, it would take a long time. Um, but that's different than whether or not I'm, they would be able to get away. I'm with asking it. if they could be free from consequence. And so this this is why I disagree with you because I think if Israel yeah. could be free from consequence, they would literally just take all of it. They would take the West Bank up to the fucking river. They would take Gaza. They would expel all the Arab, uh, the Arab Muslims. It's coming, guys. It is coming. Who are willing to be the twenty percent of people who are willing to go along to get along? Wait, they would get trust. rid of fucking everybody. So now it's just I, a I question think that's a, I think that's a of the slow rolling expansion. Claim. I think that's a uh -huh. difficult claim to make. I think it is. It is. Oh, hang on. I've got the timestamp. We'll skip ahead to that bit, just to avoid this. Uh, this. This riveting conversation there we go now we're talking this is my real fucking beef sunday every single time you show up to have a conversation with yeah. another person with an iq over 80 you yeah. act like you're tired yeah. and bored and have someplace else to be but then you show up for the yeah. next yeah. interaction so oh, why no. don't you actually engage with the conversations that are put in front of you were you over 80 yeah. <laughs> oh my god what is yeah. <laughs> okay no he's so much smarter why... than everybody else i want to hear what yeah. the fuck he has to say come on buddy what? Enlighten he, us. He, he rambled <laughs> on. Is stupid. Moments passed. Everybody else is boring. Please enlighten us. I, I'm I'm down here to receive the wisdom of President Sunday. Everybody else is a fucking idiot. We're boring you. We're wasting your time. I am here to learn. <laughs> President Sunday, I'm sitting my white ass down and I am listening. I, Please tell you're me. You're not. You're not that <laughs> mad that you couldn't successfully deplatforming because, uh, you know, food shops is proving that. Uh, no, don't distract. I want to hear. Yeah, no, no, no. Dude, I want to okay. hear the nobody, 3,000 IQ game. Right, let's go. I uh, saving him. Yeah, 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 let's go back to the topic. Let's go back to the topic. Okay. All right, SDL yeah. wants to talk. No, don't go back to the topic. I mistook you for Ted Kaczynski for a second, so my critique doesn't actually apply. <laughs> um, Come on, so man. Was the Come on. What was the point of going down the argument of who would do the full ethnic cleansing of the other side? Oh, I think that, yeah, I think that the point is that, um, you know, the the status quo is all that's the kind of moment for in this in this community on these panels man that's what people want to see they want to see those spicy moments i kind of fucked up the timing of this because we've done it the wrong way around but you get the idea so then after that obviously sunday leaves and counterpoints points uh, pops off on him again very funny very funny stuff The, the problem you've got is I think that people want to have like important conversations and stuff like that. I mean, this is all the standard normal stuff, right? But they want to have conversations that matter and stuff like this. But people don't want that. They want to see crazy, stupid stuff happening, broadly speaking, right? That's the problem. Like, you know, that other panel, I watched, I watched it. And the reason I kept watching it, the quick one, I watched it off stream. The reason I kept watching it was because Omar was saying insane things. And then at the end, he said, any Palestinian that goes to Egypt should be executed as a traitor. And he got kicked off. That's, that's the content. That is the content, you know? So as annoying as President Sunday is, I understand. It's like, it's fun to watch. Anyway, there we go.
There we go. We got a little bit of uh, a little bit of that. Smith. Smith was the second place because he was saying the most retarded shit. But uh, but yeah. The NPC music. Brilliant. The thing is, is I don't think uh, I don't think Sunday is like an anti-Semite. Um, I don't even know if his takes on Israel Palestine were that bad. He, I'm pretty sure he condemned Hamas. I think he just wanted to frame it more as the pro-Palestine side. Um, and obviously, he kind of popped off on Eris because he felt that she was being racist. I think Eris expressed a concern, which is, you know, valid. Especially when you consider that some of those pro those pro Palestine protests were saying gas the Jews and shit like that. But yeah. That was fun. Well, I'm actually ending stream shortly, and this is the last day that I'm streaming before the end of the promo. So I'm gonna need to beg and plead with you all to please over the next few days before Thursday. Does stream about Jews and Arabs, sponsored by Ant Legion. What does he mean by this? I'm going to need to beg and plead with you to please download the Ant game for me and play it. Until level five. Nah, Badlands Drugs is out. No, I'm not. Well, listen, I'm going to just end it soon, okay? We'll just chill for like a, a little bit at least. Anyway, I really don't see myself doing much more coverage of any Israel-Palestine stuff. Hopefully some other stuff happens that I've got shit to talk about. We'll see. If not, I'll do my um, my famed What's Wrong With Women stream where I list out every single time a woman has wronged me. <laughs>